What's going on guys and welcome to my latest video here as you can see I added a couple of VHS when I was a kid a very nice collection and here are all my beers okay so in this video tutorial today I'm gonna teach you how to play Ace Empires 2 you know HD version uh, you know the remake or the revamped version that I made for Steam and also I believe it was released in GOG I'm not quite sure but I'm pretty sure it was released for Steam. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to play uh, on offline, LAN, in your local network, being able to play with no, with with not the necessity to use Steam. So no Steam, LAN, offline. So let's go. So obviously you'll always have to have your computers in the same local area network as you can see here. They are all con these two computers are connected in the same router. Uh, you know, each computer have their own local IP, as always. So now let's start. First, you you will have to obviously have the game. Um, you can buy it on Steam, but you can also, you know, get it in the internet. So if you want to get it, the game, so just uh, open Google and just search these things that you're seeing right now in the video. Uh, you can easily get it, you know, the latest version, the one that, ha that has the African Kingdoms. Uh, you want to make sure to have the Codex version, and also the Codex version should have the crack fix. So once you download that game, uh, you know, you know, you download that, the game itself, you will obviously have to install the game. And once you install the game in each one of the computers, you will need this little um, patch that I'm gonna leave you guys in the description of the video as always that has uh, all the necessary files to make the game uh, compatible with offline LAN uh, gameplay so once you download the file you just wanna unwrap all this crap and once you uh, unwrap these files you obviously wanna copy these files and paste it inside the root, the root folder of the game uh, um, you know overwriting every th single file that prompts you so uh, once you just install the game and put the files, you're ready to go. So basically, the first time you open the game, it's gonna ask you if you wanna open the firewall uh, for the for that specific application. So you obviously have to click an OK in the e click both um, ticks. And once you've done that, just open the game. So now we're gonna open the game. I'm gonna go to where I have the game installed uh, here in this computer. Uh, so we open it, here you can see open the firewall, allow, and that's it. Now we're gonna go to the other computer, we're gonna do the same. Open the firewall as well, it's gonna ask you the first time to do this, and we are done. So now we're gonna go to multiplayer, we're gonna go here. Uh, obviously this this computer is gonna be the, the one that will host the server you can choose either of either of them so it's the same we're gonna go create we're gonna go to public uh, just leave this like that we're gonna go on create so here we're gonna click on I'm ready and we're gonna wait there so now we're gonna go to the other computer we're gonna go to multiplayer we're gonna go to lobby browser and here we're gonna wait until the the server show up so here the server is showing up just fine and we're gonna click here in join and here we're gonna click on start the game oh I forgot here to put on I'm ready so once you're ready that's okay both players are in red in green now we're gonna start the game and let's see how it works so here you can see that both games are um, are synced and the game has started. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So this tutorial was pretty simple. I just wanted to, you know, honor the glorious Age of Empires 2 games, you know, along with the Conqueror's expansion and the recent added uh, African Kingdoms, because I think it's one of the best uh, real-time strategy games ever. So I hope you like the game and see you next time. Bye.